The Trans-Canada north of Superior is seemingly an endless chain of hills, but the rock man keeps going. With the Marathon Mill behind him, John was expecting a lonely walk to Terrace Bay, but early one foggy September morning, a television crew from France tracked him down. This wasn't a chance meeting. They had heard about Jesse's journey and were inspired to travel from Paris to produce an eight-minute documentary for a national telethon. Well, it's because we have a, a large program in France called Peloton, and each year we, we make a, a big program, and we heard that the, this story, the, the Jesse's journey story, and we thought it was a very, very exciting thing because uh, he defends his own son, but he defends as well all the father of the world, and that's uh, something exemplar. Uh, the story is a story of a father, and we love his son, and what the father is able to do for, for his son. Accompanying the TV crew was Sandrine Dores. She's been to Canada before, but the 19-year-old who suffers from muscular dystrophy specifically wanted to meet Jesse's dad. I think it's really wonderful. Um, <clears throat> I think what he's doing can help everybody in the world, so that's a good reason to walk. Sometimes there might be a difficulty in remembering to stay focused about why you're here and who you're trying to help. It was nice to spend time with somebody who really understands what it is you're trying to do, and particularly to have somebody from another country. And I think that really had some impact for me. I felt proud to walk down the road with that young girl. Artist Ken Jackson captured the spirit of Jesse's journey in 95 with his painting of father and son battling the elements. John knew somewhere along the road he'd return to that memorable location, and this week he did just outside of Terrace Bay. I can't believe I actually put a wheelchair up this because uh, it's long and it's just grueling. And uh, yeah, it was something to, it was something. John will continue searching for that $10 million pot of gold this week, headed into Thunder Bay, just over the rainbow. In Scriber, Ontario, I'm Bevan Palmatier, News Now.